Alrighty, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of KJF Fishing. As you guys can tell, behind me we have ice. Is it safe ice? Do we know? Yeah, we do know. I was out the past two days. It is safe. We got about, uh, I don't know, four inches, three inches of ice somewhere in there. Safe enough. As you can tell, I still have my picks on and we got my spud bar in the car. We're taking all precautions that we have to. Um, saying we, uh, because I got a special guest that never been on the channel, maybe been on the channel. If she was on the channel, I privated the video for, for a certain reason. <laughs> it is my sister. Uh, she is one heck of a goof and she's gonna be fishing with us today. What do you want to catch? Walleye. Walleye? Would you take a stick? Probably too. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. She's a little bit of a goof. She catches everything usually but fish. She's caught crawfish, clams. I mean, those are kind of fish, but not really. She's got sticks. Uh, somehow she catches trees that are out of the water too. You guys can randomly guess how that happens. Either way, uh, she does like fishing, so we're gonna try to get her, uh, try to get her a nice one. Maybe like a, even a small walleye. <laughs> Alrighty, well we're gonna get out on the ice. We're gonna check it as we go. I walked on from a uh, different launch point uh, yesterday, so this is a new launch point we're walking on, the one I usually walk on. It usually freezes a little bit later than that other one, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get going because I'm, I'm eager to get some fish. So let's get to it and uh, yeah, punch the camera. Like a mile long trek to our spot just kidding you can see my flex in the background over there somewhere <laughs> made the sister pull the sled the whole way gotta give her the real taste of what ice fishing is like um, yeah so we're like 100 meters from our spot and I'm definitely winded a little bit <laughs> need to start working out a little more that's what ice fishing is for right start walking a little more oh definitely not Alrighty, so we're in the spot as you can tell if you look around there's a few holes already this was for me yesterday we caught some fish here <laughs> yeah, so this is where we're going to start, and uh, we're going to try to just get some walleye. I don't know what's going to be made of this video. We might catch one fish, we might catch five, we might catch ten, I don't know. Uh, stick with us, and we're going <laughs> to... We're going to try to get on some fish. This is the shenanigans I'm talking about. Like, what are you doing? Okay, well, you messed up a little bit there, but I mean, to be fair, she did do this one before, so. Are we gonna fish today? Sure, probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so jig's slight. There we go, first one of the day. First one of the day with Darby. <laughs> and it's a little, it's a saw guy. <laughs> and a saw guy it is. I'm gonna let him chill out here for a second. Alrighty, so there is our first saw guy on the ice. Caught him on that little white rattle bait. I think it's from Northland Tackle. I'm uh, not too sure, but came up and that was what, within five minutes of fishing and uh, we already landed our first wall or sauger. So get this guy unhooked, give you guys a look at him. Just a little guy to start off the day, but little guys need appreciation too, right? So we're gonna get him right back. There he goes. There you go, Darby is hooked up. Okay, so. Oh yeah. There it is. Little one. Okay. Darby got one though. He is small. Look at how small it is. Darby got one. And it didn't even show up on the graph. So we didn't have any of the, the cameras rolling or anything, but she got one. Don't hook yourself. Cool. Show him off to the camera, your big cat. He doesn't catch, even right? want to put his fin up. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, let's get him back. Alright, buddy. There you go. Cool. Well, you got one. Nice. That was our goal. We said a little walleye, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, okay, well, let's try to upgrade that. Yeah. Good try. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that clip, that last clip. Um, I didn't get the cameras rolling in time. Uh, fish didn't even mark on the screen. 
So we were kind of scrambling to get the cameras going and I was trying to help Darby. So sorry about that last clip, but uh, she landed it. That's all that matters. So oh, that's what she caught it on. <laughs> Lindy Spoon. Uh, those Lindy Spoons work awesome with a minnow head. Uh, really like them for early ice and ice fishing all around. One of my go-to baits for sure. Um, if I was to talk about some go-to baits really quick, I'd probably be going with a Lindy Spoon, a rattle bait, obviously, Jig and a Minnow, those work awesome. Those would probably be my top three is a Jig and Spoon, rattle bait, and a Jig and a Minnow. So, there's some, uh, there's some baits for you guys to try out if you guys haven't ice fished much before. Those are my go-to baits. Um, other than that, you want to try to upgrade that? Yeah. Yeah. Like four times. Yeah, by four times. <laughs> well, even four times, that's only going to be like 20 inches, so... <laughs> At least it's not a stick. <laughs> At least it's not a stick. Let's get back to fishing. Derby is hooked up with another one. Not big. Should I just keep reeling? Yep. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's kind of big. He's a better one for you. Well, Darby just got a little bit of a nicer walleye. Uh, better than your first one. Yeah. So, upgraded. how many ice fish have you caught, you think? I don't know. Like, like on one hand. I could probably count. You could on probably count on one hand. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we're adding to that total today. So, let's get that fish right back. It's not horribly cold, but we don't want those fish fins freezing up. Back he goes. Cool. So, nice. how many have you caught today? Two. No. Two? Three? three. Okay, well, as you can tell, Derby also can't count. So, <laughs> <laughs> let's get go. another one. Right on bottom. Like, Derby, it's all yours. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Am I supposed to take that? Yeah, there's a flag. Yeah, Darby, this is all yours. Come here. Is it? Alrighty, so grab the rod out. Okay. Get ready. Okay, close. Yeah, close the bail. Yeah, give her set. Set. Yeah, there you go. This is on left hand, holy. Yeah, so it's a little awkward for you. Yep. Awesome. Little walleye. <laughs> Little walleye. Better than my last one. Yeah, better than her last one. Little walleye for Derby. You want to hold him? You want to put him back? You give her. Alrighty. Yeah, that's a, that's a really little one. We're going to get him right back. Cool. Well, that's the third one of the day. So, And that was the first iFish Pro Strike of the year. So that's, a, that's really nice to see. I like flags quite a bit. So we're going to get this rig right back up. It's doubles. <laughs> this guy's not done yet. Nice, that's not awesome. Yeah. Awesome, yeah, you, you got me beat, but that's all right. Let's that's get it back. Right. There it goes, yeah, so. yeah. There goes mine. Sweet. Little school of them moved in, obviously. Yeah, definitely. We were marking a lot of fish there for a second. Yeah. And then, we were marking yeah. like two, three on the sonar at once and couldn't figure out what they wanted. Yeah. And then you switched up and hit one right away. And Dropped then, down a tungsten and yeah. nailed it. What I were you one, using? Uh, a little forge minnow, actually. Forge minnow, yeah. Just a little. Makes yeah. sense. Smaller mouse on those white fish, yeah. they're just needing smaller hooks so they can actually grab it, seems like. So yeah. Cool, well let's get back to it. Yeah, let's get some more. There he is. Ooh, ooh, I'm all froze. I'm froze, so I'm handlining. Little walleye again. Little walleye, now he's all wrapped up in my line. Real froze up where the little uh, knot froze up and I had to Hand line it, so little walleye. I'm gonna pop this jig out and I'll show you guys. Little walleye, not all that impressive, but some really cool colors on them. We're gonna get them right back and uh, try to get another one. That is the second flag of the day, so. We're gonna get this one set up again and try to get another one. Alrighty, it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. We've been out here since about 12 and uh, Darby's getting a little bit cold, so she's gonna head on home. And I'm gonna keep fishing, so I'm gonna probably stay out for a couple more hours, try to get uh, try to get a big walleye. I want that 30 plus, or just even a, like a 28 or something like that. Something bigger than what we've been catching. So, Derby's heading off. You got anything you want to say to the camera? Good luck with the rest of the day. Thanks for having me. Yeah, fun. Yep. Cool. Well, she probably doubled the amount of ice fish she's caught. So <laughs> <laughs> we got to get her out more this year. Drop down in the comment more if you want to see a part two with ice fishing with my sister. Ready? Well, cool. Let's get back to fishing. Ready? Just hooked up with another one. Little walleye, little sauger. Nice little sauger, you can tell it's a sauger with those dots on the fin. Uh, not too big, we're struggling with finding the bigger ones today, but we're finding a lot in this size, so we're gonna get them right back. There he goes, cool. He's on, like, look at my rod bending. Yeah. There he is. Finally get to find out what these fish are. It is 
the walleye. Oh my gosh, look how finicky those walleye are. That is absolutely insane. I'll show it off to the big camera here. Okay, so I had this camera rolling the whole time. It's showing four minutes. And so that is how long I had to play with this fish to get him to bite. I actually thought it was a white fish because I couldn't get him to bite. And when he did bite, it was just like nothing to set the hook on. And it was like I was just feeling his small mouth or something. So that's what I thought that was. And apparently it's a it's an all right walleye. It's not too big, but it's all right. I don't want to waste too much time with him out of the water. So we're going to get him right back. Cool. Okay, I got one on. There you go. Another fish, another walleye. Yeah. Not very big at all, but it is a it is a fish to say the least. So I'm not complaining too much. We're gonna get him right back. That's close. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm done my drone shot. <laughs> so it's kind of funny because I'm trying to get drone shots and I will, I'm catching these absolute dinker walleye they're too distracting like you guys can tell right here literally look I'm filming my drone stuff right now and these walleye won't leave me alone these little walleyes it was a bigger one heck drone can crash and everything we're gonna get this guy back and I got a fish looking at me There's another one. Oh. <laughs> now that is what you'd classify as a KGF fishing monster. That is a, that's a tanker, man. That's, wait, did we say 13 or 30? I got confused. <laughs> yeah, that's what you come to Diefenbaker for. <laughs> There we go. Flying the drone and the... Oh, it's a decent one. Awesome. <laughs> decent walleye. <laughs> Look at the size of that walleye. Awesome. That's probably like a 23, I don't know, around there. And now on that little tungsten jig I was actually using for, um, uh, for whiteies. We're gonna show you, show this off to the big camera, get a measurement and then I'll show you off at the big camera and and release it over in that hole. Get a quick shot of this. Yeah, 20, 22 and a half. Yeah, 22 and a half. Look at that walleye, y'all. That is an absolute beauty walleye. Absolute huge humpback on this walleye also. It's funny because I was in here fishing the other day and my buddy caught a fish just like this and I'm wondering if it's the same one. Um, 22 and a half inches, it has that huge humpback. I'll actually insert a picture of that walleye right now. And you guys be the judge. Is this the same walleye? Anyways, I don't want him out for too much longer, so we're gonna get him right back. And there he goes. Well, that's cool. That's a better one to, to kind of come close to the end of the night. It's, uh, I don't even know what time it is. It's probably close to six right now. And uh, 22 and a half, that's not bad. Let's get back to fishing, set up that jaw jacker again, and should be good. And look at that beautiful sky. Right when we took the drone down to purple, pink, absolutely gorgeous. We didn't think there was gonna be much for the sky tonight because of all the clouds, but it actually turned out absolutely stunning. Talking about stunning, you recognize her. Hi. It's Kayla, she decided to come out and visit, so. That doesn't look like very warm gear. Alrighty guys, that is gonna conclude the video for today. I really appreciate you if you made it to the end. Um, we had a great day out here. Uh, Daryl and I, he's just in the back here. 
Um, we had a great day out here. Uh, the sister was out here and even the girlfriend made it out and the dad. So we had the whole crew out here today and uh, it was a pile of fun. Nailed fish, probably caught like 20 fish all day um, combined. So really nothing we can complain about. One thing we could complain about, I guess, is not catching a big walleye, but it doesn't happen every day. So maybe next time. We're gonna come out here very soon again and film. You're gonna see a lot of Daryl on the channel. Uh, we're gonna be working really hard on videos this winter. So uh, stay tuned for that. And other than that, I don't really think there's much else to say. Um, I guess we got also the Summit Fishing uh, shuttles they're called. So that's gonna be awesome. That's why I didn't have live scope today. So once we get those Summit Fishing uh, shuttles, we'll have live scope rigged and ready so that is all to say make sure you guys like subscribe comment do your thing and other than that i'll see you on the next one